From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big early mornings LA broadcast for Saturday morning. And the toast is toast and the butter is buttering here. And also the fourth stimulus check update of 2021 is here. We're just missing some bacon. Hope you're having a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm really excited for you. In this recording, we go over the fourth stimulus check update of 2021. The major breaking news that changed everything yesterday when we're looking at the House versus Santa plan. The incredible great news, we'll go over it in this fourth stimulus check update. Then we'll cut to the fifth stimulus check in the second package, second part of this recording. We'll go over the fifth stimulus package update and why a major report yesterday suggests that your benefits could be raised upwards of 20% additionally. I have all those incredible great news. And then we go over the big money that's landing in your bank account this coming week and what you need to do this coming Monday. A lot of great news, a lot of great money and a lot of great checks. It's a good morning. It's a Saturday morning. I'm excited you're here. Let's get to all the details from my home to your home, from Wall Street to Main Street. Let's get to the details. This is a beautiful morning of early mornings. How I like it. about your fourth stimulus check. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we go over the monthly stimulus check, how much you're gonna get it, when you're gonna get it, starting the month of July, and why the House versus Senate plans look quite similar now amidst a breaking news development yesterday and what happened in another deal provision yesterday that signals for stimulus is heading to the finish line together with something else. Incredible great news. Then at the second half of this recording, we turn to fifth stimulus. That is the SSI and SSDI reform and why a major news developing news detail yesterday suggests your benefits after they are increased, after they're increased, could be getting an additional 20% on top of that. I have all the real big jaw-dropping news on that. And then in the middle of this recording, we go over all the big money that's coming to you. Some automatic, some not automatic, and some that you have to do something by this Monday. <laughs> this is LA. Right. A 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. Mornings are, are live, afternoons are taped. I don't want you to miss a single recording. So make sure you subscribe. Subscribe right now and become part of this channel. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that the House versus Senate plans look starkly different now amidst a major breaking news that impacts your fourth stimulus. Over the last few days, we've understood that the fourth stimulus package, whether it's the House or Senate, both provide a stimulus check on a monthly basis, but the payouts are slightly different. Let's compare and contrast them again. So the House plan would provide you a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. And that amount of those stimulus checks are slightly different. Let's compare and contrast how they play out. So when we look at the stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package, the senators propose a stimulus check of a smaller duration, but of a bigger payout. So which one do we like? Let's look at them one at a time. First, who gets these stimulus checks? Let's look at that. So if you're on SSI and SSDI, you get a stimulus check. If you make less than 75000 you get it. If you're a household of four or less, you get it. But when we look at the amount of the stimulus checks, there is a big difference across the board. So the house plan, here we go, is providing that you would get a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. House plan stimulus checks for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. Senate plan provides stimulus checks from July to December. If you're in the live chat, just after 4 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time, get ready to vote Senate versus House, and also get ready to vote change my mind or not change in my mind. Why would you change your mind? Because of the breaking news development. Let me show you what's going on. So that's the 
amount, that is the number of checks. Let's now look at the amount of the checks. The house plan provides a similar check of $2,000 the first month and $1,000 thereafter. Whereas the Senate amount is unknown, but we're on the street, it would be this. Yes, this. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Here comes the breaking news development. In the last few days, when we had looked at the House versus Senate, we always presumed, well, four more months of the pandemic. So three more months, five more months of the pandemic. That would be, let's say, four more months of the pandemic. 16 stimulus checks, 16 months of stimulus checks. Well, the breaking news is that out of nowhere, the CDC this week announced that the mask mandate is being lifted. If you're vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask indoors or outdoors. The White House yesterday lifted the mask mandate so you don't have to wear a mask on White House grounds if you're vaccinated. That means that suddenly there's questions whether the pandemic may be over in one month. If the pandemic's over in one month, then you would see 13 months of stimulus checks from the House, which would amount to $14,000. So $14,000 over 13 months for the House compared to $12,000 over a mere six months from the Senate, suddenly makes the Senate plan look a lot better. Now you see how the CDC making that announcement to lift the mask mandate suddenly makes the House plan look less attractive than the Senate plan because they almost pay the same amount if we're coming out of the pandemic. Same number of checks, no, but same amount long-term, yes, only difference in the Senate, you would get them in half the amount of time. So what else do we need to know about the force stimulus package? Who gets it? You do. If you're on SSI or SSDI, Social Security or Barrel of Benefits, you get the force stimulus check. Married couple, two or you get the force stimulus check. Just double it if you made 150000 or less. Single individual, you get the force stimulus check if you make less than $75,000. And household four or less, you get the stimulus check. Just quadruple it. Easy breezy. Is it income? No. Is it taxable? No. Does it come in waves? No. Ultimately, I'm a reporter. I'm not a legislator. So I just report what they represent, and they represent that the four stimulus checks would start in the month of July and continue thereafter. And they represent that the vote would be in the month of July. That means a stimulus check would go out in July for July, August for August. Is it income? No. Is it taxable? No. Is the stimulus check going to be the same amount for adult dependents, children, and everyone else? Yes. Absolutely incredible. Great news. It's a two-bill, two-step, two-month process that has already begun. And guess what? In the second half of this recording, I have big breaking news about why not less than three major developing details, including one late yesterday, signals for stimulus is heading out the door. Wow, incredible great news. Now, let me give you a preview of the second half of this video. This is a 30-minute jam-packed video, so I want you to stay to the very end because I got money across this entire video. And at the end of the video, we're going to go over fifth stimulus. This is the latest stimulus package in September that will raise your benefits up to a big new number. But guess what? The breaking news on Friday was that that big new number could also get an additional lift of over 20%. Boy, this is great news, but you got to stay to the second half of this recording. For that, I'm going to be going over in just a second. Now let's turn to the incredible big money that is landing across the land for you to get. I want you to get a pen and paper because I have a lot of money for you for the next few minutes, and I'm going to have a couple things for you to do to ensure you get the money. I don't want you to miss anything across the core recording, so let's get to the details right now. First, there is upwards of $25,000 available for you to get in the next few days. What's going on? So when third stimulus passed in January, I birthed the expression on this channel, Purple Hawks, which refers to when stimulus comes live, you have to pounce hawk, hawk, as, a pound, as a hawk to get the money before anyone else. And I also birthed the expression, stimulus stampede, that when money goes live, there'll be a stampede to get it. I also said that the third stimulus has a $14 stimulus check, but ultimately a $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 payout to you will be the biggest item of the third stimulus package. And now it's landing. It's money for rent, utilities, homeowners assistance, and homeowners utilities, which is landing your city, counties, and states last week, this week, and next week. So let's go over all the exciting great news, starting with the rent. The rent is about $5,000. It's four to six months of rent, and where do you get it? Six places. 
City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. You reach out to them and ask for rent assistance because of COVID. Biden Economic Recovery Act. You do not use the words stimulus check or stimulus package. They don't even mention the word stimulus. It's incredible great news. It's about $5,000 for rent. Also, there's more money for utilities and there's money for homeowners assistance and homeowners utilities. Then we turn to SNAP. SNAP is absolutely incredible. A family of four in Hawaii now will get upwards of $16,000 of SNAP over one year because of a Trump executive order which raised your benefits 15% for six months and a Biden executive order which raised your benefits for six months for 15%. Incredible great news. $16,000 for SNAP? How do you get it? Reach out to the Department of Agriculture, 211, and get on SNAP. Wow, we're only 10 minutes in this video, and I've already shown you $5,000 for rent, $16,000 for SNAP if you're in Hawaii. That's $20,000, and we're just getting started, which brings me to a big donut moment. You won't have to do anything. The donut will take care of you. Well, not the donut, literally, but you can just enjoy your donut because it's automatic money, and the automatic money, number one, is coming back from your states. Thousands of dollars is being returned to viewers all this coming week, and what's at issue? The federal government ordered states to return thousands of dollars back to citizens who are ordered to initially return the money back to states due to overpayment. What's the scenario? This one. What happened was during the pandemic, some states overpaid recipients of unemployment benefits due to a computer malfeasance that had nothing to do with the unemployment recipient. And then the unemployment recipient was told to return the money back to the states, and they did. Well, the federal government has stepped in, said it was an error. You should not have had to return the money. It was yours to keep. And now the states have been ordered to return that money back to you. It's thousands of dollars. Donut, you don't have to do anything. Just eat the donut. It'll automatically come to your direct deposit from your state. Next donut moment is from the federal government. I even have one viewer who got $2,000 on Friday, sent me a DM, incredible great news. And what is this? This is money now coming back from the federal government for the return of taxes you paid on your unemployment assistance to the federal government. It's incredible great news. How are you going to get it? Either the mail direct deposit based upon your 2020 tax return. If you listen to the direct deposit account, it's going to that. If you li if otherwise, it's going in the mail. Why the beige envelope? And inside there is that check that is beige from IRS Treasury with the note refund. What are you getting? Let me go over the details. If you file 2020 tax returns as a single filer and pay taxes on your unemployment benefits, you're getting that taxes back. Here's an example. $9,000 of unemployment benefits. You paid a total tax bill of $5,000, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment assistance. You're getting back $4,000 in your bank account or in the mail. Congratulations. If you're a joint filer, then you're in phase two. You're at the end of the month. Incredible great news. There you go. Now, that brings us to some tough love moments. Those tough love moments are so critical because guess what? This is Saturday, but Monday's a deadline. What's the deadline? The deadline to file a 2020 personal tax return. And you're going to hear me talk about these items starting right now. The first one is children. No, the first one I skipped. The first one is the money for returning items back from IRS. If you receive unemployment benefits in 2020 and weekly took out for unemployment benefit and weekly took out for federal taxes, you have to request those federal taxes back from the federal government by filing a 2020 tax return by the end of Monday. Here's an example. You received unemployment benefits in 2020, weekly took out $100 for 10 weeks. Guess what? That's $1,000. You have to recover that money back from IRS by requesting it on a 2020 return, which you have to file by the end of Monday. All right, now let's get to the children. Children, incredible great news. If you have a child five to newborn, you're getting $3,600. Pay $300 a month starting in the month of July. And that child is 17 to six, you're getting $300, uh, $3,000. Pay $250 a month starting in the month of July. If two events occurred, one, you made less than $75,000 last year. And two, and here's the trigger, that you have a child that IRS knows is with you and knows that child is alive. If IRS doesn't know that child's with you or doesn't know that child exists, you're not getting paid. Which brings us to tough love moment number one. You never file tax returns and you have never filed a tax return and you believe that IRS does not know that child is with you, you're categorically 100% in the month of July getting a flat zero. 
Here's an example. Family of a, a mom with a four, five, and three-year-old never files tax returns. She should get $10,000 a month of July. But if she thinks the IRS doesn't know those children exist or live with her, she's going to get zero. Literally just zero. So get that federal tax return on file due by the end of Monday. Item number two. You do file tax returns, but you never listed that child before. Maybe because the child was just born in the middle of a pandemic, or maybe the child was previously on someone else's tax return, like your ex-husband. Then you got to file that tax return by the end of, 20, uh, end of Monday, listing that child on your return. And file the third one, which is the rare search circumstance, where you do list the child on your tax returns, and you file that every year. But your last tax return on file is 2019, where you made way too much money, you're not eligible for the child's check. Ironically, 2020 hit, the pandemic hit, and you made almost no money. Now you're eligible for the check, but you haven't filed the return. So if you, don't, if you haven't filed the return, IRS will go off the most recent tax return, the 2019, and say you're not eligible, you made too much money. Get that return, the 2020 on file right now. And that brings me to the final tough love moment, and you know which it is a missing stimulus check. If you're missing the first stimulus check, second, third, fourth, or a household stimulus check, you need to file that 2020 return by the end of Monday. All right, now, I want you to look right at me in the camera because I got a lot of tough love to give you. Tough love number one, you never have to file a tax return because you never make enough money, or you never have to file a tax return because you're on SSI or SSDI. I got it, I got that. That's not the scenario of this video. The scenario of this video is that IRS has categorically said that in these cases where you have to fix something by filing a tax return, you must file the tax return. For example, if they do not know that child is with you, they are not paying you. And I don't care that you don't have to file a tax return for you. You won't get the $10,000 for that five, four, and three-year-old if you don't file that tax return and IRS doesn't know that child is with you. You won't get it. And when July comes around, you won't be able to fix it. So please do the tax return. There is no way to cut corners on this one, folks. Tweeting, going to Facebook pages, calling them up on the phone, calling up your senators, that doesn't work. You have to get the tax return on file and you have to get on file by the end of Monday. Another major tough love moment is that I've always had someone, every single day still, drops in the comments of the live chat says, anyone else missing their third stimulus check? I haven't gotten mine. Or why are we talking about the fourth stimulus check? I haven't gotten my third stimulus check. If you haven't gotten your third stimulus check, I love you to death. Get off the comments and get right to a tax preparer because the IRS has made very clear, if, you're not get, if you have not gotten a third stimulus check, it's not coming. You have to file a tax return, request it immediately. There is no other fix. There's no other wave of third stimulus checks in the mail. You have to go to that tax preparer immediately by Monday to request that missing stimulus check. Finally, another tough love moment. Rent, utilities, food, internet, well, not uh, food, but rent, utilities, mortgage, and homeowners assistance detailed early in this video, get it now. Because why? It's not coming back under forced stimulus. We know now that the forced stimulus package does not have it in there. So if you need these items, go get them from the forced stimulus because they will not be in the third stimulus because they will not be in the forced stimulus package. Moreover, another major tough love moment which is the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance, along with FPUC, are all going away in September. They're not coming back. Some of them are going away even earlier. So do not expect to be protected by the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance anymore. They're going away. I tell you tough love because I don't want you to be reliant upon these events that are not going to happen. But guess what? If you need help getting that rent, utilities, food, internet... I got someone to help you. It's the volunteers that are on the community page. The community page appears in the description of this video. Uh, it's at, uh, in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. It's news.la.com forward slash community. There's a series of volunteers there that can help you get that rent and utilities and those other items. They cannot help you with tax preparation. They cannot help you with unemployment assistance. So reach out to them. And I'll be back in 60 seconds with more exciting big news about your fourth stimulus and that massive increase under fifth stimulus. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. 
their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals. Reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in early, early mornings LA with incredible big news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In today's recording, we go over the major breaking news that unfolded yesterday. You're going to be shocked. And what unfolded all last week in one major three word statement the president made that signals for stimulus going to the finish line. Then we cut to fifth stimulus and that big change that could increase your benefits an additional 20%. Wow. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If this is LA Light, I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Let's get to the details. Four stimulus got an unusual wrinkle yesterday when we learned that at the same time that they have to do bipartisan, that they have to do non-bipartisan uh, three, two bill, two step, two month process for four stimulus. They also have to do a lifting the budget, the deficit limit bill by July 31st. What's going on here? Well, ironically, at the same time that they're doing this two bill, two step, two month process for four stimulus that requires no Republican supports, they also have to do this lifting the federal budget deficit bill. And that has a July 31st deadline. What's incredible great news about that for purpose of war stimulus is that that one will not have any Republican support whatever. So they do that partisan without a bipartisan support whatsoever. And it's the same mindset. And hence, they continue along the same lines, doing two things at the same time that are focused with the same focus. All right. Also incredible news over the last seven days, which is the president on Friday the president the Friday before, and all last week came out and said, get it done. We're referring to the fourth stimulus. Who is he speaking to? His Democratic leaders. He said, get it done because he wants the fourth stimulus out the door. But the bigger, even bigger news was the three words he spoke, corporate tax rate. During the reconciliation process, the only concern among Democrats was the president's proposal to raise a corporate tax rate from 21 to 28 percent. They said the Democrats, moderates, I don't want to do a 28, 29 percent. How about 25? And then the president said, deal done. Incredible great news. He also said, get it done. We're referring to fifth stimulus. And now let's turn to fifth stimulus, which is the next stimulus package, which starts this September. It's a two-bill, two-step, two-bill, two-month process, just like four stimulus. But let's go over the details and why there's breaking news on this one as well. First, they would increase your benefit limits, the benefits. Then they would remove the asset limit and raise it up, and then add an inflationary benchmark. That's where the breaking news is about. They would remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. All right, now let's cut back and go over each of those, and I'll slow it down when I get to the breaking news. First, who's you? If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, this is you. Next, what are they going to modify? They're going to raise all of your benefits up to a big new number. And if you're on multiple benefits, it will raise up as well. That will be your big new number. Then they're going to tie inflation to the, bench, to the number as the benchmark. Now I'm going to slow it down because this is where it gets incredibly great news. Over the last few days, we have always heard the same thing we've heard over the last year, that the inflationary rate is going to grow to 2.5% this year, or 3%, maybe 4%. 
And I always said, well, they're going to raise your benefits up, then tie it to inflation. Then in December, they'll raise you up based upon that 2 to 4% interest rate. It means you'll raise you up 4%. Let's slow it down and see how that works. So basically, they'd raise your benefits up. Then if inflation's 4%, for example, they'd raise you up another 4% this year. Next year, let's say inflation is zero. Well, your benefits still stay the same. Benefits only step up or stay the same. They don't step down. So if you go up 4% this year and next year it's zero inflation, then you just stay the same. You don't step back down. Well, here's the breaking news. Yesterday, Jeremy Siegel, professor of Wharton School of Business and one of the leading economists in the country and an investor, said, why are we talking about this 2 to 4% interest rate? I think it's very possible we could see short-term over at least the first year from now, a 20% inflation rate. This is huge for you. Let me show you how this would work. Your benefits would be raised up by the bill, by the fiscal stimulus package. And then in November, they'd reassess your benefits based upon inflation. If Jeremy Siegel's inflationary rate of 20% is even possible, or if it comes even close to it, let's say it's 15% or 10%, they would raise you up that amount additional on top of your benefits. Let's do it again. First, they raise you up for this bill to become law. Then they look at inflation in December and raise you up whatever that inflation is. If inflation goes up 20%, they're raising you up to 20%. Next year, who cares what happens next year? Let's say next year the inflation is zero. You still stay at that massive rate. Remember, you never step down. You only stay the same or step up. Have next year's 4%, you go up another 4%. And the year after that's five, you go up another 5%. It's incredible great news. It's absolutely incredible great news by tying your benefits to inflation. Now let's go to the asset cap. They're going to remove the asset cap that dates back to a 1980s law that says you can't keep more than $3,000 on hand. For some of you, it's going away. Thank goodness. Then they're removing the income cap. Dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't stay on, on benefits and get income. So now if you want to work, you don't have to. One, $2,000 a year, a month, and stay on benefits. Incredible great news. And then finally, the marriage penalty going away. Love is going to win. So if you've been married and you've been suffering from the marriage penalty, it's going away. And if you wanted to get married and haven't gotten married because of the marriage penalty, it's going away. Incredible great news. So when would fifth stimulus become law? It would become law somewhere around uh, October, and then you would see your benefits in your bank account about November. And that's your fifth stimulus check update of 2021. Meantime, it's very fascinating across the board because what we now see here is that determining when this pandemic ends, if it ends four weeks from now or four months from now, is a very big factor when considering the fourth stimulus check proposals of House versus Senate. If you're in the live chat, vote House or Senate right now. And if you've changed your opinion from House or Senate based upon this new position of CDC, also say changed. We had always thought that the House plan would look at something like 16 months of checks. Even one viewer said, well, how about that midterm election? The midterm election is going to come in and they're going to undo it. We all, some people were thinking that the stimulus checks would continue after the 2022 fall election. Now there's questions whether it's only going to last 13 months. If at that, one viewer said yesterday, I bet the pandemic ends by the time they vote on the bill. If that's the case, then you would see 13 checks, excuse me, you would see 12 checks over 12 months, which would amount to $13,000 from the House compared to the Senate plan, which is $12,000 over six months, subtle as potential. So suddenly a potential $12,000 over six months in the Senate versus a House plan of potentially 13 months for nearly the exact same amount of money. Yes, suddenly the Senate plan looks like the winner. It's Saturday, and I know you're going to have questions throughout the day, so jump in all the live shows. I'll be live on Mornings LA, live on, after, on uh, noontime as well, or home, because you got 
till Monday to file that tax return. Bring to that tax return any notes you have. I have to request a missing so much check for my mom. I have to declare my son. I have to um, ensure that this is fixed. Make all sure you got everything covered. Watch this video, replay it, and play it back to the section. And listen again and make sure you got everything covered. If you don't get it filed by Monday, and you had to get it filed according to their rules, you're not going to get paid. So that's why I get this tough love. And I'm so excited you've joined me. The toast is toast and the butter is butter. And I'm here, you're here. It's been a beautiful early morning's broadcast. Make sure you subscribe. This is Adelaide. I don't want you to miss a single video. Keep on subscribing, sharing these videos on social media, Facebook. Tell people to come on over. Like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Always stay informed. Always stay focused. Always stay motivated. And have a beautiful morning. I'll see you on Mornings LA and stay with LA for more.